Shakespeare had written, of course, very famously, that all the world's a stage, right? And that's really the kind of picture or metaphor that Newton has in mind throughout his greatest work, the Principia. The planets will move around, the comets will orbit the sun, the apples will fall, and all that happens, all that action takes place on a kind of perfectly rigid, unchanging stage. And that stage is then space and time for Newton. So Newton says very famously, space and time are each absolute. They flow without compromise. There's nothing that happens on that stage is going to affect the stage itself. Um, they're not actors in the drama. Newton's view of time is the, what I would call the everyday notion of time that we, uh, that we grow up with, that we become familiar with in our everyday lives. The notion that time is universal, it's the same for everyone, everywhere, no matter what they're doing, that it ticks away at a constant rate and time is passing equally and exactly the same for everyone, no matter what they're doing. And all, all of our everyday experience points to this being the correct notion of time. And we come to, to Einstein, and especially with his general theory of relativity, um, his theory of gravity, space and time, or their union into space-time, now has become an actor in the play. It's not sort of set off apart from the other things like the planets whizzing around or comets or apples. It's now part of that story, so that the other actors, say, uh, large uh, masses like the sun, can actually have an impact that can affect the shape of space, the flow of time in its vicinity, and vice versa. So they become part of the kind of stage play, not set off. So Newton had said time and space were, first of all, separate from each other, and were sort of absolute, apart, distinct. And Einstein starts folding them into the kind of larger drama. In Einstein's theory of gravity, time becomes personal. So the time that elapses for me is entirely personal to me. The time that elapses for anyone is entirely personal to them. And the way that time elapses, the way that time flows for an individual is completely dependent on where they are and what they're doing. So if all the world's a stage, then the structure of that stage is the structure of space-time, this entity that, that Einstein introduced. <laughs>